What is up YouTube? It's your boy Brent, the Legendary Punisher, coming at you with another video. Today's video, I'm going to be showing off two pops that I've gotten recently, and then I'm going to do a quick action figure review. First pop I got was the first appearance of Cyclops. Now, if you guys are not getting these first appearance pops, I highly, highly recommend them because they're... They're cool, and I definitely had to get this because it's X-Men, X-Men rules, but you can see them. And then the coolest part about these, um, pops is they showed, like, the first comic book that these characters actually showed up in. And I'm a massive X-Men fan, so I had to finally get it, and Hot Topic had that sale for 2 for 27, I believe. So I picked that one up, and I picked up the new... Iron Spider from Endgame. It's one where he has the um, instant kill mode activated. And then he's got the legs. And then he's holding. I don't know if you can. Let's see if I can get it. Show up. He is holding the um, Nano Gauntlet. Which had the Infinity Stones in the movie. Spoiler alert if you haven't seen it. I highly recommend Endgame if you haven't seen it. It was so good. Alright, now on to the figure review everybody. This is the Sith Trooper from um, Star Wars Rise of the Skywalker, I figured. Since the movie comes out today, might as well do a quick Star Wars review. This is one of the rare white boxes, but yeah, I'm going to end up getting another one because they're not really worth that much. But, let's cut into it. Open it up. I save these boxes anyway, so it's not like it's going anywhere. But you see, right here we have his, we have the new blaster. Which, if you guys don't remember, this blaster was um from the Republic era. They upgraded it and updated it, but that's what that is. And. This one right here is supposed to be a heavy elite type of blaster as well. This one's more like a three round burst. This one's like, I'm going to say like a solid beam and stuff. But let's get into it. These are the new troopers that are going to be in the movie. You have a little bit of head movement. Can't really look that up, that much up. Um, let's see. Ooh, now this is cool. They added butterfly joints into a, a Stormtrooper figure. That is pretty cool. That's something that's been needed for a long time. Because the pauldrons and the Stormtroopers just get locked. And you can only move them like this sometimes. So that's pretty cool. That adds a lot of posability with this figure. Let's get in there. But yep. You have this. You can have them posed like this. Which is how I'm going to have them posed. Holding this little blaster. But yep. Just a little basic pose that you guys can do. And in case you guys didn't know. You see this little slit right here. And I know DK got one of these figures. This little slit that's right here. You'll see it. And there's a little hole right here on the side of the figure you can put it right there and then it's a storage um space for his weapon for both weapons both of them fit there but yep that is the sith trooper from rise of the skywalker i wanted to do that to celebrate the new movie coming out that is supposed to be the culmination of the entire skywalker saga it's supposed to end it Will it be good? Will it be terrible? I don't know. I I kind of do know. But, um, yeah. I'm excited to see it with the family. Continue the tradition of seeing them. But, next figure I got was the Lightning Collection Goldar figure from Power Rangers Mighty Morphin. Let's go ahead and cut into it. It is a, in case you guys are looking for this figure or you don't know where it is. It is a GameStop exclusive figure. And GameStop had a sale a couple of days ago. 
This figure was only, I believe, 15 bucks, which is not bad. They usually go for like 25 And I love these figures. They're well worth the price. I would pay 30 for these figures. You have a set of wings, because Goldar had wings. <laughs> you have the Goldar figure. You have the Goldar figure, and he's got a lightning effect for his sword. And then he's got a sword and another set of hands. It's just pretty cool that they're... The thing that I love the most about these Lightning Collection figures is they're doing something that um, Bandai just absolutely refused to do with their um, characters when they were doing the uh, Legacy Collection. They absolutely refused to do villains, and the only villains that they did were um, exclusive figures. So I'm glad that... Let me get... I might have to heat these joints up, but there you go, I got it. Twist, 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 twist. But um, they're finally these Hasbro since they got the license, they've done. They did Lord Zed. We haven't had a Lord Zed figure in a long time, and they actually did it show accurate, which is awesome. You have a show accurate Goldar. I've always wanted a Goldar figure since I was a little kid. That I mentioned, very easy to plug in these wings and stuff. I like that. And the wings have some articulation in it, so you can move the wing up, down. You have it where he's just like crouch, you know, where the wings are just not even deployed, or you can have them out. I'm gonna probably have them out, depending on where I put them on the shelf. But right now, I'll just put them right there. That's how it looked like in the show. Yes, Power Rangers. I'll show you. You know, <laughs> kind of voice. But you put the lightning. You can wrap it around the blade. I like these things, but they get very loose every once in a while. So you got to be very careful when you put them on. But, yep, you have that. You have double-jointed legs. You have very little ankle pivot because the joints are very tight on this. You have side to side with the head. You have the ball joint. You have ab crunch. There is butterfly joints, but they are covered by these pauldrons right here. So it pretty much limits articulation. But, and there is some paint that I could update and upgrade and stuff. But I'm not going to complain. I have a Goldar figure, and I've wanted one of these since I was a kid. So Hasbro... Thank you for making a dream come true. I love this figure. And I'm glad to finally have it in the Power Rangers collection. But, that's going to do it for the video, guys. If you liked it, be sure to hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. And click the bell for the notifications. And everybody, I'm wishing you all a happy, you know, a merry, merry Christmas. I hope you guys get tons of pops. Action figures. Go see a movie. Go see Rise of the Skywalker. It's in the theaters. Let me know if you like it. And I'm going to try to do a live stream with DK, Legendary Collector, Lindsay B, and tons of other guests. We're going to do a karaoke stream. What? And I have a couple of pop teas coming, so expect that in the future. And I'm going to be doing a giveaway soon. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but it's going to be pretty cool. So tune in for that. Everybody. I'm Brent the Legendary Punisher and I'm signing out.